Hi, and welcome back to Let's Win Dungeon the Endless, the beta version. It is version 0.8.7, <clears throat> and, um, well, the multiplayer, and there's going to be co-op in it, which is really exciting, isn't available. Now, there's the album, um, which, uh, could be cool. Um, and I just died on level 8 to a total monster storm of, uh, crazed beasties. I'm ready to jump back in. Ready to jump back in. I'm gonna stick to easy, not too easy. Uh, as you can tell, I did not unlock any additional ships. Uh, the ships are basically different game types. Um, there's the infirmary pod, where... I think you don't heal after every fight, um, but you gain other benefits. There's the drill pod where I think it's infinite. Um, and of course there are prerequisites unlocking each one. Um, you can look at those yourself when you pre-order or own the game. And the armory pod starts out with four like, fully equipped heroes, um, but you can't recruit anymore still normal I am gonna start off with my choice of heroes I'm gonna take Opbot for his mad operator skills and uh, do I want Gork? it's very tough uh, and I want a fighter type character or do I? Max O'Kane is tempting because it gives you one science for every door you open for the whole game. But I think a choice really between Gork, who does amazing damage and has awesome utility, but is super slow and obnoxious, and Miss Jolary Tulak, who, while she does use up dust, um. <clears throat> in her attacks. She's incredibly fast and defensive. Um, I'm, and then of course there is Max like I had originally last game. He's just well balanced. He adds some science. He adds um, some dust collection. But then he's kind of mediocre at the end. Like he doesn't do much else. Um... Uh, He can operate towards the end, which, you know, got me a lot of resources. Choices, choices. Let's go with Quirk. <clears throat> and I know, I know, a real playthrough could be, like, completely random. Blah, blah, blah. And yet don't really care alright I'm gonna level up this character as I want to get to operate as soon as possible and since I'm headed in that direction anyway I might as well use their passive or gain an active guard uniform this one's easy we'll put on Gork as he'll be doing the majority of the fighting Power this up. Excellent defensive room, as always. Start with industry generation. Because you need that to build everything else. Alright, and we have research. For the beginning of the game, that is... Nice. I just need science. Hmm... You can fill one more room. Sweet, it's a dead end. Please have a major. Yes. Pea shooter is a pistol. That does not go with any of our current peeps. We'll have four food next round. Oh, it didn't build. Oh, we need 25. So, might as well open this door with me right now. 
yet. We'll use that passive since it's never going to get used again. Or that active. And... Boom! Just in time for my science thing to exist, we have the operator skill. No! Well, oh, this time, fine. What am I gonna get? Smoking gun. Uh, having offensive turrets early is just super important. Um, hero health regen, whatever. You need the better weapons. Um, that's just... It's just so true. I have no food, no science, I've used up all my dust. Let's do this. You go this way as these bottom buildings kind of block off a zone here. There's like nothing there. Oh yes, that is exactly what I needed. Way to uh, pretty much double my DPS. Mm, what am I going to go with? I want another industry generator in that center room. Might as well power that. Industry, science, nothing impressive there. Uh, Gork, you're so slow. I may have missed a turn worth of research. That would be unfortunate. I'm getting 11. I was at 28. Nope. smoking gun. This is, you know, a turret game. Okay, as I don't want Gork to have to walk too far, I'm going this direction. Gork is a beast. Also, oh yeah, he doesn't have that ability yet, but you know, you can occasionally get food. I've opened seven doors. Is this going to pay for itself? What is it? I need to open ten more doors. In all reality, that's probably not going to pay for itself. So I'm going to build a food generator instead. It's unfortunate for Gork. Probably going to level up Opbot. Uh, we'll wait and see. But a lot of these monsters just walk past him. No. No, I need to kill it. Same difference, huh? So we're just gonna back him up with <coughs> these weapons.
Bigger rooms are better for Gork, less time for things to walk past him. Operator bot doing his thing. Gonna level him up to get one more science per round from that plus one wit that I get at level uh, four. Now has repair and operate. Nice. Okay, this Healy one, I don't really like it. Mechanical Pal. That'll be super useful eventually. How many doors do I think I have left? I spend 35 now. Then I'll have 8. And when that's done, plus 36 is 44. Not quite enough for the industrial generator. Prisoner prods are useful because they're so freaking cheap. This is something I realized a little late last game. I can't go pow. I'm just gonna go for it. All right, and then I'm just gonna start stocking up on goodies. With this Fuzi and his active ability, Gork is insane. If we find a little science, that would be great. This is going to be tough. Remember his active also lets him move faster. So we're just gonna burn it right now. Try and kill off these things. He pulled through that. That was definitely about as much as I could possibly handle. Unlocked mechanical power. We're going to get one more research because there's one last door. Whatever this item is, is ours. Mill spec bracelet is an excellent three defense and four attack power. Pretty good. I realized late in my last game that I really liked the uh, regeneration you get from the first aid kit, as it gives you passive bonus that gives all heroes regeneration, which stacks with the passive bonus of the item itself, which is just kind of awesome. Let's get our research set up. It will open this last door to instantly generate it. And then, all right, what do I want? Probably the Nero stun, as monster slow is so useful later. Not something you need. And stocking up science, well, you can do it. Uh, uh, I don't think it's worth it. You'll get, what, um, 
has an attack cooldown of 2.5, which is not a quarter, but a 40th. So yeah, I think you can do 40 damage a second with this. Not impressive. And that's if you have like 200 science stocked up. Definitely a liability. Um, so definitely the Neuro Stun. I'd love to get the Food Replicator, but that's just not going to happen. So. Now there's one more door to open. I believe if the last door is already to a connected room, if it's not a new room, monsters won't spawn. Guaranteed. <clears throat> Now once you open the last door, you can feel, and you get that message. Feel free to send your operating heroes wherever they need to go. Alright, that was great. We got some research on the first level. Attack power, attack cooldown. You can use abilities once you've picked up the orb. There is of course no major benefit to racking up dust from kills at the internet. Alright, well, that was the first level, and I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and do another level immediately. So, thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you on level two.